Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. So Tesla came out with an update this morning and it's the big update, for, I guess, for the holidays, although I don't see any holiday stuff in it. Nevertheless, it's got a lot of improvements or features added with regards to full self-driving visualization. So it doesn't actually give you any more uh, driving help or assistance with autopilot, but it does show you on the screen a lot of new things that you haven't seen before. Tesla's been watching the whole time, analyzing this data and uploading it to the cloud and uh, preparing for uh, self-driving on the streets or full self-driving in its entirety. But now you can see stop signs, stop lights, and all kinds of stuff visually in here. You actually have to turn on this feature in uh, the settings under autopilot. It'll say full self-driving visualization preview. When you click on that, it just gives you a warning that basically says, we're going to show it to you, but uh, uh, it's not a substitute for a driver attention. It will not stop the car. And I actually do test that out. Uh, in this video because I did see someone else uh, do a demo with a car. If it didn't think you were going to stop at a stoplight or stop sign, uh, alerted you. But uh, we're going to go ahead and try that and see if that works here. So I'm going to enable this here. And then let's head out for a drive and uh, see what the car sees as we drive around uh, with this new uh, preview data. All right, so here we are. We're going to test the full self-driving visualization, which just came out with this holiday update from Tesla. And uh, let's see, we notice uh, just kind of driving on the street here. Now, suppose it recognized stop signs and, um, oh, look at that, it recognized a trash can. So as uh, so you can see, there's two trash cans that are left of me over here, and it's picking up the trash cans. It's actually a pretty good render of that. Uh, right there, look at that, two trash cans. Wow. Not bad, it actually shows the top of it now. That's pretty cool, really interesting. Let's keep going and see what it does at uh, some stop lights and um, stop signs. So pulling up here, let's see what we got. Yeah, it recognizes the stop sign, really, really clear there. And also the uh, line across the street. Now it does say in the notes that it doesn't um, stop the car. I did see some demos earlier where uh, if you had auto steer on, it did stop the car. It didn't stop the car, but it gave you an alert at least uh, that you know it was, it was to tell you that the stop sign was there if you didn't if it didn't think you see if it didn't think you saw it. However, uh, I don't believe it does that. I did a couple of tests before I hooked up the cameras. And I wasn't seeing that. So here's another stop sign, and it also shows the markers on the street, the turn markers pretty interesting let's see what happens here all right so here's a traffic signal it is actually green right now and yeah you can see the signal pop up and you can see it's red so there you go there's some and you can see the line across the street here and then uh, the actual signals now if you move this around might be able to zoom in a little more I think these are a little too small to be honest with you I think they should be a little larger it's kind of hard to see uh, but as you can see, Tesla, the, the systems have been seeing this for a while. This is just the first time that uh, they're actually letting you visualize it inside the car. So we'll see what kind of reaction time the car has between them. When those lights turn green and it's actually signaled in the car, let's see. I can't put autopilot on now green oh yeah it's pretty quick actually as soon as that light turns green it the car knows it's green so I think full s some of the city driving features could be coming soon to this car actually uh, maybe just alerting you that uh, the light has turned green and so forth but we'll see so here's another traffic signal up here there where does it pick it up it picked it up right now it sees all four lights and it sees that they're red I'm gonna put autopilot on this time. And I wanna see what happens if it sees a red light. So we got a, here we go, here's a red light. And it sees it. Ah, no. <laughs> All right, so it was definitely was not gonna stop there. I had to jam on the brakes. Another stop sign, picked up up here. All right, I'm gonna put the auto steer on, autopilot's on. There is a stop sign coming up. Let's see what happens. From what 
I'm seeing, it just uh, doesn't alert you at all. 39 miles an hour. It's actually slowing down for the stop sign. Weird. But it is definitely not going to stop. That's weird. So it slowed down as it approached a little bit, but definitely did not stop or alert or anything. All right, so that was a quick preview of uh, the visualization additions to the uh, screen here. I'm sure a lot of other people see other interesting things as they come across them. I thought it was interesting to see a pretty good render of the trash cans in my neighborhood. Uh, definitely see stop signs and stop lights, and you can see the uh, turn lanes uh, indicated on the street as you're driving along. Some other things that the update brings are voice commands, so it's pretty cool. Tesla, with its limited amount of buttons, always could have used some improvements in the uh, voice control. So now, uh, if you want to change the temperature, you just got to click here. Temperature, 71 degrees. Changes to 70, 71 degrees. You can open the glove box. Open the glove box. It opens the glove box over here. I don't know if you can see that. You can adjust the mirrors from here. Adjust the left view mirror. And it brings up the screen here, so now I can adjust the mirror. Before that, usually it would take a couple of clicks uh, to do that. Let's see. Uh, climate off. Climate keeper disabled. I don't know what that is, but nevertheless, I'm going to turn off the fan so the audio is a little better in here. Uh, other voice commands. It can send text messages now. So if you hold this down, send a text message to Bryce. It says compose a text message. Click here to dictate. Testing, testing. This is a test. And it uh, picks it up. Actually, it's pretty quick. And then it says tap to send to Bryce. I don't know how I tap to send, but nevertheless, I'll figure that out later. Get rid of this. It keeps recording me. Some other phone improvements. You can actually read the text message as well. Uh, it's got camp mode that allows you to be in the car for long periods of time and keep the audio and climate on. And uh, also Tesla Theater adds Twitch. Uh, to the uh, available streaming apps uh, in the car. And then Stardew Valley is a new game. I don't know much about that game. Also, Backman is, an, uh, Backgammon is another addition as well. It's got a voice keyboard where you can dictate into the car uh, via voice control. Oh, save dash clam clicks on honk. That's nice because a lot of times you'll get into a situation where you just honk the horn. And now... Before, you'd have to go up here and hit this button to download the data. Oh, there it goes. And you can see right here, it just said it's downloading the uh, recent dash cam footage to the SSD. In my car, I have a uh, actually nice A-Data SSD drive in here, 500 gigs. I got this big one because before, it wouldn't overwrite the data, and now it does. But nevertheless, this is a really good, it's a rugged, heat-resistant SSD drive. Uh, and that's what I use in my car to record all the clips another feature it says here is tracks it's a, i guess it's a midi music generator let's see get there via the toy box tracks let's load that up and see what this is about all right here we go let's see huh so i guess if you want to do some music stuff acoustic bass drum quite loud enough but there you go got some good bass in here I don't know so if you want to play with some music stuff you got some cool stuff in here <laughs> save exit all right so there you go that's my quick preview of the new visualization features and some of the other updates that came in this uh, software from Tesla it's always cool to get uh, New features added to the car every couple months. Uh, what I'm looking for, of course, is uh, this one right here. We need uh, ludicrous mode in the three. Chill, sport, ludicrous. Maybe if I hold this down for five seconds, we'll get space balls mode. That doesn't work. Track mode. No new stuff here. And Anyways, I hope uh, the rumor is true about the 100 kilowatt hour battery in the Model 3 as well as ludicrous mode because I'll be gladly buying a Model 3 and you can see my Model S up here. Uh, that thing's got 46,000 miles. I'm ready for a new car. So 
I think I'm skipping the Raven waiting for the plaid mode or the new Model 3. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and we'll keep the videos coming. Thanks a lot.